Are you all right? Look like you've seen a ghost. If only. Get away, all of you! Are they from the Reading restricted the section? No, and none of your business. There you are, sneaking past me. I know. And taking dangerous books. They are from the restricted section. Yes, I mean, shut up. Enough! Here, perhaps you'll find sweeping the courtyard more productive. What, me? Use a broom, not to fly? That is what I said, and let this be a lesson to all of you. Off limits means off limits. <laughs> Ugh, feel like a muggle. I got a look at one of them. Saw something about the Cruciatus curse. I did. Oh, shut up. It's George, I'm sure of it. Who is George? That, that is George. <gasps> Explain. He was trying to become an Animagus, and we were in a field full of sheep. All is now clear. What you have here is an Ovis Aries, commonly known as a sheep. No, it's George. Did your friend George hold in his mouth a mandrake leaf for an entire month? What? And equip uh... himself with the chrysalis of a death's head hawk moth. A what moth? To which he added a silver teaspoon of dew from a place touched by neither sunlight nor human feet. All I know is he said, a tomato animagus. The word is amato. Oh, George, I know his voice. Oh, he's after my boober tubers. <laughs> Can you get him away? George, stop it. Look, he knows his name. George? What are you doing with a sheep? You can't bring a sheep into school. I was sure it was you. Out! Right now! Now! I look nothing like a sheep. You just wait till I speak to Professor Weasley. Yes, I told you. You're very clever. Clever? How offensive. Next. Fine, a genius. Happy Possibly. now? Possibly. But I'll allow your limp vocabulary. This disillusionment charm is superb. I'm stealthy as a demiguise. I'm invin- uh, Ow! What in Merlin? Where are you going? What a stupid thing to kill? do! It's not stupid. It's How the most stupid thing anyone has ever done. And well, if you'd look where you're going instead of barging about. What, what are you doing? No, that, I'm just that's... trying to... Invisibilis. No, that's not Stop it. Stop it! Uh, You'll make it! Fine. Success! <laughs> You're right! It's superb! You blithering moon mind, that's my essay for sure! Abandoned potions of the Middle Ages as compared to the Black Plague? No, the one on invisibility. Oh, well, you'll do well on that one then. <clears throat> Blasted charm. Special knack! It's tormenting Professor Black! Where she said I could swim, did you praxia mole? As long as for only one time per week, I can plunge the boy's lavatory, not for the meek. Please, Peas, you'll make me late. He tried to stop me, did rancorous carp, sought to trap me, confine me inside of a jar. But he failed, as did his containment charms, so I took my revenge to wreak havoc and harm. 
It was granted my privileges be handsome indeed, or I'd fire up the cannon, and so she agreed. To draw up a contract with her, not with him, that if I behaved, I'd have one weekly swim! Whee! Okay, you for this. And then the werewolves joined the goblins, goblins in the uprising. Goblins, werewolves, where were you? In the Goblin Rebellion of 1752. And by the end of it, the Minister for Magic was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. <gasps> oh, what fun! I won't say my goodbyes. I shall cheer for the boy who says you're telling lies. I'm not telling lies, Peeves. It was Albert Boot. No, it wasn't. It was Basil Flack. Oh, fight, fight! It's a bold attack! Was the Minister a Boot or the Minister a Flack? Stop it, Peeves, you'll get us in trouble. In trouble you will be, but you can't give Peeves a smack. She says it's a boot, and he says it's a flat. Peeves, enough. You'll get us all detention. Oh, and you're both wrong anyway. It was Hephaestus Gore. It wasn't boots and it wasn't flack, but you're all in trouble with Professor Black. <laughs> Back. Why are you doing this? It's cruel. Please, incendio. Hey. Oh no 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 no! It's Black. He's My coming. Book. Now look what My you've done. Book. He's nearly here. Uh, hello, headmaster. Glacius. Well, they took my book, sir. I wasn't talking to you. Sir, I can ex- We're very sorry, Headmaster. Putting my reputation at risk with your infantile antics. He's a half-blood, sir. The wise rabbit doesn't seek to outrun the tortoise because it's not necessary. On your way. And you, stay out of their way. If you hadn't been distracting me- I told you, but you wouldn't listen. Oh no, Sir Fitzroy, my toad, he's left me. <laughs> it's only her toad, there he silly. Is. <clears throat> Perhaps some explanation is in order. It was uh, only a toad nothing. And found if it had been my toad, it didn't do. One at a time. It was please. only her toad, Professor. You tell tale, it was not. Levioso. <sighs> oh, Fitzroy, you naughty boy. See, I told you. Now, in future, perhaps we can spend our time on more meaningful activities than causing a commotion. I wouldn't want to see you lose house points. Although, I will say, excellent Toad got a good spring to him. What if he sticks like this? What? Don't be silly. It'll wear off in a few hours, I think. You think? It didn't before. That other boy was like it for a week. A week? I... I don't feel well. Oh, stop fretting. We'll have you with Nurse Blaney in no time. <gasps> I've just realised. What? What is it? I have an essay I need to finish for bins. Two inches. Merlins, I haven't done mine either. Uh... What? Don't leave me here. Did you memorize the dates of magical discoveries and goblin rebellions? Not yet, no. Where are you going? You can't leave me here! You'll be fine. I'll check on you tomorrow. Tomorrow? Ah! Billy Wigsting, you'll be a week like that. Oh. You idiot! Lolly has served our family for five generations, and you go and give her clothes? Now I will have to cook and clean until we can replace her with another elf. Did you think of that? Or do you hate your mother that much? Mm-hmm. 
What have you done? Yes, I said forever, but this wasn't what I meant at all. Well, are you happy now? Oh, please, wait. said I would. You should. You should ask her. Shan't hold my breath for that. No. I'm going to ask her this time. You said that 40 years ago. Did you see that? She looked at me. My dear mound of shoulders, I'm afraid it was I that drew her gaze. Uh, I'm going to do it. You should, before the next century. Oh, for heaven's sake, get on with it. Milady, would thou take us my hand in dance? Oh, <laughs> I did it. I asked. Uh, forgetting anything? No, uh, goodness. Uh, Milady, uh, might I borrow my body perchance? <laughs> Milady? Care to dance? Thought you'd never ask. What a handsome couple we made. I swear I won't be wasting your time, and I'm grateful for the opportunity, ever so. Come on, then. What you got? It's Why a... is it moving? What? I bet... Your bag. It's wriggling. What you got in there? Not rats, I No, hope. it's a niffler. What do I want with a niffler? He's sharp. Stole from me, he did. He was robbed by a niffler. I... That's what I'm saying. He, he's a natural. Worth his weight in galleons. Go on, then. Show him to me. Uh, uh, I must. If you're wasting my time. Ow! No, I would you never waste me, your time. Your little rat scratch me. On, you little you can't even keep oh, hold come of on. Rat. Where are you? If I he's ever catch a rat. rat, it's dead. You hear me? Dead. I Get out of he's here. He's not a rat. Amateur. You're worrying far too much. Nobody's looking at you. Look at that boy. Why did you buy me a second pair? I hate these Novelty socks. Novelty socks at that price can't be passed up. Be thankful you have I'd socks. I'd rather have no socks than be dancing like this. You're not dancing. You're exercising. Father, why is he dancing? See? And you'd said the charms come out in the wash. I've but it hasn't. Known someone so dramatic, just like your father. Anyone would think you had an affliction. Has he been cursed? Oh, please, can't we take these socks back to Mr. Hill and get me some when normal ones? When you pay ones? for your own socks, then you get to choose. 
Until then, you'll learn to be thrifty and behave. You're starting to cause a scene. Papa, can we really wash it on? Don't be absurd. That woman will say anything to avoid spending a canut. Told you not to go down that path. Miss Peck from Rude and Peck said a customer lost a deer all around here. I know we're not supposed to go down there. I just thought... You could have got us in a lot of trouble. I'm very sorry, Father. Only she said I might earn a reward. Oh, instead, I just wasted our time. There you are. Ha! Huh, finally, I'll have enough for that wind wisp. Ah, well, not meant to be. Also, I may have knocked over a dustbin back there. Never mind, I'll fix it, as always. But we've not took a thing. Hand them back. There's nothing to give, sir. It was only the one. Uh, that's all of them, sir. Honestly, I swear. How many times are you pair going to keep pilfering my shop? I swear it was just those ones, we sir. Promise, sir, we'd never take more than those. I tell you this, they'll not appreciate your antics in Azkaban. You just wait till I see your mother. That was a bit hot. 